Air 12 out of the hangar. Kicking off the night above Hillsborough Stadium. Catholic versus Catholic. East side and Central Catholic. Up against a team for the Rams, of course, had a big win last week against West Lynn. So cathartic. And there's no better way to start a game than this. Unless maybe you feel the ball in the end zone. Miles Jackson bursting off the bounce. The kid can go on the carpet. 99 yards and a tackle ain't won. Yeah, that one's for Strick City. The entire Rams season, of course, in honor of the late Deontay Strickland, the brother of Elijah Elliott. From there, soon 14-0. Kate Knighton, so cool under pressure. Knows right where to go with it. Action Jackson. Miles and yards. A little frequent flyer. Central Catholic rolling up 14-0. Then Eastside peeled off 16 points in less than two minutes. Eastside got him again. That team from Seattle, 44-21. But the Rams will be tough all year long. You know that. Air 12 above the Beaver Dam. Liberty, Beaverton, non-league tussle. Beavs taking it right upstream. Carson Budkey, Trent Walker. Good to go. 6-0 after the failed two-point try. And sometimes, you know, fielding a kickoff is a science. You just saw that. Sometimes you just need a little help from your friends as well. If you like a 99-yard return, what can you do a little bit better than that? I would say 100 would be better. Yes way. Cole Smith going to earn a sticker helmet for this. His teammate as well. All those guys blocking downfield. Get to the edge and then get going. Turn it up. Grab the water hose and get your breath later because it's a 100-yard return for Cole Smith. But it's Beaverton in that victory feeling. 47 to 20. Air 12 at Southridge for the Andrew Keller Memorial Game. In honor of the Skyhawk alum who lost his life while serving our country in Afghanistan in 2012. Lincoln on the other side. House of Cards built to run. Marco Vitakovich carries home the bread. 16-7 Lincoln at half. The boys in black were on the attack though. Derek Salinas just plucking targets left and right. Joshua Callow, 20-yard score. The scoreboard survived the night. 61-42 Skyhawks. Air 12 on the hump to Tualatin. T-Wolves out to go 2-0. Oregon City like to put a kibosh on that. Late second quarter, 12-0 Tualatin. Blake Jackson and company looking to head into the den with a three-score advantage. Doesn't happen, though. Long ball grabbed out of the sky by Indy Daniel for the interception. And you got to show some love for the kickers, right? Christian Ferreira, sign this kid up. Get him a full-ride scholarship. How about being true from nearly 50 yards? You try doing that at home with a helicopter hanging over your head. Fourth quarter, all T-Wolves, though, leading 26-13, 12, and then ripped off 20 points in the fourth. They do get to 2-0, 32-13. Air 12 in Clackamas, the Pacers from Lake Ridge. Just at Tualatin a week ago. Now a road game, those new-look Cavs. Third quarter, home team down 27-21. Their senior quarterback, Austin Atkinson, got an arm and some weapons. You get from being pinned in jail to the 50-yard line in one throw, but they would not score from there as the defense of the Pacers would hold. Early fourth, same score. Six-point game. Lakers ahead. Feed the beast. Jalen John. He had three scores in his pocket already. Keystone cops here. John would lose the handle before the goal line. The pig pile ensues. Lakeridge wins the needle in the bottom of the haystack for the touchdown. And the end of the night as well. Lakeridge gets the win. 41-28. How about a clean look for Air 12 with the new turf at Sam Barlow High. Bruins Tiger both prep for deep runs this season. Third quarter, Bruins in rally mode. That's tough to do with the Tiger defense. It's relentless all night. Nowhere to go with the ball in the quarterback sack. Then Tiger on offense. Carter to Carter. Drew and Drew. Breaking away from any blockers. Tied in. High motor. 21-3, Tiger for the lead, and Tiger to the end, the win, 35-3.